we're going to be talking about gray hair. What is your gray hair telling you about your body systems? We're going to dive into that topic today. Again, I've done lots of topics on this, like a lot of gray hair stuff, but we're going to try to nuance it. Every time you see a new video come out from me on a similar topic, I try to always nuance it and provide something a little bit different that maybe you didn't get last time. So if you've seen previous stuff, definitely want to see this one too. Uh, before we do, please smash the like button if you enjoy the content and love to see your comments down below. All right, so let's dive in. So gray hair is a natural part of the oxidative process, the oxidation aging process. So as you age, um, you have oxidative compounds known as different hydrogen peroxides that are sit down on the follicle bulb. And as you age, that oxidation essentially bleaches the melanin out of those follicles. So gray hair is a natural aging process. Now, can we do things to reverse it and to slow it down? Yeah, there definitely can be things that can help, right? We know acute stressors where there's lots of cortisol can create lots of oxidative stress and people can have gray hair and maybe deal with that stress, change their diet, and they can actually reverse that over time. That's definitely possible. And that's been seen before. I'm going to look at things a little bit differently in regards to the functional medicine body systems, looking at the different systems of the body and see what systems if they're out of balance, how could that connect back to your hair? Now, there's different modalities out there too. There's not a lot of research on it, but red light, I like it. Uh, it's been shown to be very anti-inflammatory. And so it makes sense if we have oxidative stress and potentially inflammation at the follicle, then we can potentially use red light. Not a lot of data on it. There's a lot of data on it helping to extend the antigen phase of the hair. And so that's cool. So that increases more growth. And then that also decreases the inflammation of the follicle. So you just get better nutrition, better blood flow, and a, a larger growth phase. And so I'll hit certain parts of my hair that are a little bit more on the gray side on my facial hair and such. And I, I'll talk about some of the nutrients that will that I use as well in just a minute. But this is kind of a cool strategy. This is a infrared right now. This is going a little bit deeper. The brighter red is going to be your regular red and that mid 600 nanometer frequency infrareds in about the mid to 800. So that's cool. If you have those kind of modalities, you have the extra money for something like that, like my capillus cap over there is wonderful. I use that daily. That's more for hair growth, um, but doesn't quite get the sideburns. So I use this for my sideburns and for the facial hair. Uh, and I see how it pops a little bit brighter red. That's a, that's a 650 nanometer frequency. So these are great modalities that you can use, but let me dive in more to the body systems. Let me pause that here for you guys. All right, so let's just dive in here for you guys. So body systems and how they're connected to gray hair. Let's dive in. So first off, low thyroid is a deal, right? Low thyroid can be an issue because we need adequate levels of T3 and T4 to stimulate to stimulate thyroid hormone production, all right? So we need adequate hair growth. 